Hi guys, it's me, Lyndon Kumahig from Bachelor of Science in Criminology 3A. So for today's vlog, I am going to make a video regarding to the reflection that I made from the uh, subject of History 10 to be handled by I, History 10 with a description of Rizal's life uh, to be handled by Sir Roland Dalagan. So in preliminary coverage, so, so we have five topics. So starting with the biographical sketches of Jose Rizal, pragmatic education, travel, frustration, and disappointment, before an exiled life, and the last topic is justice and death. So guys, let's start with the topic number one, which is all about the graphical sketches of Jose Rizal. The topic have been discussed is all about the biographical sketches of Dr. Jose P. Rizal. His full name is Jose Potrasio Rizal Mercado y Rialunda. Rizal was called as an ox person because he has a good hearted to others, kind, caring, hardworking, and etc. Furthermore, he is also a Gemini that he has a dual purposes in life. Rizal's father is Don Francisco Mercado and his mother is Doña Teodora Alonso Rialonda. Rizal belongs to a fortunate family that his parents are well educated and landowner as well as sugar planters. As what I have seen on myself, I have some characteristics uh, with Rizal because I am also a good hearted person. Caring, I also considered myself as a hardworking or a dual purposes because as since I am doing massage therapy while continuing my studies. Intellectual greatness that was a result had heredity, environmental, economic, and a gift from God. Like Rizal, I myself believe that every time is a gift from God. Either you're intelligent or not, but for me, it doesn't matter. It matters on how you survive in this world, and what uh, that will make you intelligent. In my two decades and two years in this world, I witnessed the truth for what we are not brainless, because all this time, we live and pass all the struggles we are facing every day. We are able to make decisions and solutions for every problem we have encountered and that is one thing showed that we have brain, we use our brain. Maybe we are different in level, capacity, or IQ of mind but still the important is we are thankful to the gift of God that we had. The environmental as I observed in myself, there's something that I could say. I'm not belong to a knowledge or something to fully understand of a thing which is new to me. For example, of course, we are in a new generation with a high technology. So, at the first, I don't know how to use a computer or anything transactions using social media platforms because I have no idea for that. Especially, I am in rural area, not totally advanced in terms of knowledge using new technology. But I grow up and able to go anywhere in the city of my titas and titos or my cousin. So, it made me happy because myself, I can say myself, a better version from the past. And I believe experience is the best teacher. Through experience, we can learn and develop our mind. Just a reminder in order for us to have better learnings, we also learn on choosing the environment or people we, we get into. It should a good influence to us who can help us and lift up us to the better one. Though a lot of discrimination during the schooling of Rizal to the Ateneo de Municipal Manila but still he continued to school and did not mind all the discrimination he had encountered. Like Rizal, 
I I have this kind of attitude. I may not be the perfect, but I know my worth. Discrimination is not new to me because I've been through during my childhood. What I did is not to mind those people teasing me. I just mind my life and do my best to prove them to prove them that they are wrong. So guys, let's proceed to the next topic which is all about the pragmatic education. So after studying the Universidad Central de Madrid, Rizal decided to say to see famous eye surgeon in Europe for advanced studies in ophthalmology. He first went to Paris, Fra to Paris, to Paris, France, and worked as a chief laboratory assistant in the clinic of Dr. Louis D. Weckert for the eye surgeon. Secondly, he go to the Heidelberg, Germany. He was an apprentice at the University Eye Hospital, managed by Dr. Otto Becker. In this clinic, he learned more about eye diseases diagnosis. So, he did his best to went to the different countries for him to be master because he want to uh, to medicate uh, to his mother because of the eye problem. Next, Rizal went to the Berlin. He worked as an assistant in the clinics of Dr. Skolter and Sevier Galiwoski and expanded his specialization in the treatment of eye diseases. Rizal studied ophthalmology and did all these things because he wanted to give cure his mother uh, having a cataract. So that is the eye problem of, her, of his mother. So like Rizal, I'm studying hard in order to help my parents. I pursue all my dreams and goals in life because I believe all will come in the right time. In God's time, I'll do my best to help my parents in return to all things they given to me. Anything, anything I can do, even it's hard and difficult just to help and see my parents happy. I will do all my best for me to give all what they want in the future. Education is the key to success. So, it is important to be educated in order for us to be able to walk alone, alone and to guide us for what we're gonna be in the near future. Without education, we will not be develop our courage to learn new things and courage to create goals in life. So guys, let's proceed to the next topic which is all about travels, frustration, and disappointments. Having traveled extensively in Europe, America, Asia, Rizal mastered 22 languages. While in Europe, several works with highly nationalistic and revolutionary tendencies. His two novels, Noli Mitangere and El Filibusterismo, was published because of his fearless exposures of the injustices committed by the civil and clerical officials. Rizal provoked the animosity of this in power. This led himself, his relatives and countrymen into trouble with Spanish officials of the country. As a consequence, he and those who had the contact with him were sh shadowed. The authorities were not only finding faults but even fabricating char charges to pin him down. And this is the time why Antonio Rivera, the father of Leonora Rivera, moved to the Gupan to take away Leonora from Rizal because Leonora had a dozen of letters from Rizal that time. Rizal's letter became grounds of prosecution. Not long in the year of 1891, Rizal received a letter from Leonora saying she was married Charles Henry Keeping and that's made him broken and frustrated. In the discussion that readings I've made in the topic, travel, frustration, and, and disappointments, I see myself dreaming and traveling to many places and wanted to do an exile in many things just like Rizal. I also see myself sad for I remember the frustration and, dis and disappointment I have in life. 
especially in the current situation, I have school that I got a whip grade. I feel lucky at the same time, sad throughout the topic discussion since I have realized that my life today is far from what Rizal's had. He was broken and I am not broken. He was charged for the things he didn't do and I'm not. It's sad that he had experienced such sadness in life. A very sad, sad experiences. Indeed, the life of Rizal's is really a roller coaster ride. Exciting yet, there were many ups and downs. I somehow could relate to that and I think all of us could when we face excitements, ups and downs in life. Let's let us all remember to live life to the fullest and we just to enjoy our life. So the, la uh, the next topic which is entitled an exiled life. While Rizal was exiled in the Pitan, he did not stop of what he can do. He engaged in agriculture, fishing, and business, operated hospitals, conducted classes teaching English and Spanish languages, and so, and so many more. A lot of things happened in Rizal's having exiled life because his sincerity and friendliness won from him the trust, confidence, and even those assigned to guard him. His good manners and warm personality were found, irresistible by women of all races with whom he had personal contacts. Aside from his intelligence and humility gained from him the respect and admiration of prominent men to other nations, like Rizal, I have the attitude of being self-reliance. I was a team leader and the president of my class during my high school day. So it was uh, my grade 11. I, th I thought this is my gra grade 11. Because of my attitude and the capabilities that I possess, my teachers and classmates believed and trusted me. On this topic, I see so much of me. I can see myself as a result not to boast but I was once a leader. I am good-mannered and I am admired by many. It's really excited and great to be great. Life depends on how we will live. In order us to be great, let's be great throughout doing great. We have to put a name. It is nice to live in this world that we are being respected, recognized, and good sense. And I speak based on my experiences in life. So guys, the last topic of this preliminary coverage, which is all about the justice and the of Dr. Jose Perizal. Every day, Rizal received death threats. When the Philippine Revolution was started on August 26, 1896, his enemies lost no time in pressing him down. They were able to enlist witnesses that linked him with the revolt and these were never allowed to be confronted by him. Thus, from November 3, 1986 to the date of his execution, he was again committed to Fort Santiago. In prison cell, he wrote an untitled poem known as Ultimo Adios which is considered a masterpiece and a living document expressing not only the hero's great love of the country but also to all Filipinos. After a mock trial, he was convicted a rebellion, sedition, and forming illegal association in a cold morning in December, of December 30, 1986. Rizal was got a bagumbayan filed. I believe that we all have experience of injustice. Like Rizal, I also experience injustice for I have been accused of the things I haven't done. My parents punish me though it's not me who did the wrong thing. It is very sad that what happened to Rizal was very unfair. It is a very very unfair from him. On his writing that is known as Ultimo Adios, 
made me see myself as a policeman. I really wanted to become a police officer for what I want to be able to express my love for our country and love to the people of the Philippines. We may experience unfairness and injustices in life. We must remember that there is sunshine after the rain. We may experience su such things, but if we really know the reality, and we really did not do wrong, then just like me and Rizal, we live without guilt and always be proud of ourselves since we really did not do wrong. So guys, that's all for the preliminary topic and I hope that you learn a lot from uh, from me. So I hope that uh, you're not a, you're always in a good condition. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you learn learn more. So thank you.